It's one of the audio tutor. Uh, I saw it as a useful u uh, guide, a tool to use in the classroom because there's 20% of marks to be lost by GCSE students. And I don't want that. They have to be comfortable speaking aloud, and most students don't want to do that. And I wanted to make sure that they felt comfortable talking and discussing and presenting. And this is a, a tool which is unsurpassed, really, as far as that's concerned. I took Audio Tutor into the classroom, and I had one particular class in mind, my Year 9 class, actually, and they were uncomfortable with presenting, uncomfortable with discussing. They hadn't got the tools of, of oracy at their disposal, so I had to teach them that. How do I check then? How do they check they actually know what, what I'm looking for? Well, it's easy with this, this program. You simply um, record on a, any sort of device, and they did that using little uh, voice recorders. Upload it to the computer. Well, actually, it, it did it automatically, actually. It streamed it in. And then they simply highlighted where they got the skills. They peer assessed themselves, and therefore it was easy to see when they got something right. There was one student in particular called Amber, and she pre represents the hidden minority in a classroom, the ones who don't speak, the ones who can, can write whatever you want to write, but simply won't perform for whatever reason. And I started off and she would mumble her words as quickly as possible so she'd be out of the firing line which meant she got hardly any marks because nobody wanted to listen to her and she wasn't delivering particularly well and then i got her on a one-to-one -one. everybody else was peer assessing themselves and annotating using this wonderful bit of software where you can see what you've, you've said and you can annotate it in the notes pane i didn't feel she could do that so it was a one-to-one -one session with her and we highlighted what skills she demonstrated, positive ones, in the first piece of work, and what her targets would be. The next lesson, I saw her, and we recorded it again, or well, something similar, again. And we then assessed it together, and even more things got checklisted. She had achieved more skills. And then the third time, she had got majority of the skills, and suddenly, I noticed a change in her. She was looking up at, the ca uh, looking up at me, looking at her classmates. Somebody who was so reticent and hadn't got a voice, suddenly she had a voice. And she's, she's on, the, on the brink of GCSE hood in one sense. And somebody who would normally disappear in a classroom and, get, and lose marks. And now she's not going to do that. And I hadn't expected that at all when I set out. Unexpected bonus was an amber in every classroom. In AQA GCSE, which is the one we follow, you have to do three pieces of oral assessment work. The first one is an individual presentation. Easy, they perform, you record it, you annotate it, you've got the data for the examiner to come in to moderate. Number two, particularly, the teacher has to assess a group discussion. How on earth do you do that? They're all talking at once, and you lease this software gives you the chance of going back afterwards and really thinking about what they achieve what sort of level can I give, and you can moderate. It doesn't give you the chance to do that in real life. And the third piece, which I'm really excited about, is the ability to do the uh, speaking and role coursework. Um, for certain people in the classroom, teenagers particularly, they don't want to perform in whatever role you give them. This way, they can perform it, uh, in a classroom with a, a few set people and then you can play it back afterwards and they've got that security. They can still fulfill the criteria of AQA but also um, you've got yourself the actual tangible proof of what they did and it's easy to again moderate against everybody else's performances. It's a no-brainer.